A Columbus business owner says he has no plans to cut his hours after two people were shot near his convenience store. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Mayor Robert Smith, along with representatives from the Columbus Police Department, Fire and City Inspector's Office, met this morning with the owner of the OK Foods convenience store. Our Quentin Smith has been following this story. He joins us live with more now on this dispute. Quentin? Andre, I'm just outside of the OK Foods convenience store. Now, as of right now, the store closes at 10 p.m. during the week and 11 p.m. on the weekends. But during today's meeting, the mayor asked the owner to start closing his business down at 5 p.m. every day. And the owner, well, he didn't take too well to the mayor's request. So, as a result, Mayor Robert Smith has now called for a special meeting to take place tomorrow morning to address this issue. Now, a city spokesperson tells WCBI that Mayor Smith is strongly considering closing the store for good due to public safety. Now, this store has definitely seen its fair share of trouble. The mayor and city staff met with the owner a month ago to address safety concerns. And also, within the past 18 months, the Columbus Police Department has responded to 122 calls at this location. Now, and we caught up with residents to see whether or not they believe city leaders have the right to tell a business owner how to regulate their business. Here's what they had to say. I appreciate them being proactive. We don't want a death and then go, we then be criticized because they didn't close things down and they weren't more proactive. So I think the police and the city leaders need to protect the citizens. I'm not sure that changing the hours is going to matter. It's probably more the adjusting the clientele or, you know, what goes on at these places of business because it can happen at 8 o'clock or it can happen at 10 o'clock or midnight. Um, but I do think that they have the right to protect our citizens. And now that special call meeting is going to take place tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. at the municipal complex. But for now, reporting live in Columbus, Quentin Smith, Andrea, back to you.